to my channel so i'm doing a little day trip today guys i'm headed to what's it called himmel hempstead, <laughs> himmel hempstead with my roomie today okay my flatmate um we're actually going to her boyfriend's basketball game um i haven't been to a basketball game probably since i moved to london so i'm actually really looking forward to it um just always tell me about the games <laughs> and how good her boyfriend is <laughs> So, <laughs> so I am looking forward to it. Um, yeah, check in with you guys when we get there. We're not in London anymore, y'all. <laughs> There's right cows. The sign. <laughs> <laughs> There's cows over there. <laughs> it's game time, y'all. No parking space. Girl, it's packed. Oh my god. People are parking on here. These aren't spaces. About to be lit. Alexandria was giving a pep talk <laughs> to her boyfriend and his teammate today. She's like, this is what you need to do. So let's see this if they listen. Rebound. Let's see if they listen to her. <laughs> I'm not a basketball player, y'all. I've never played basketball. I've played soccer. your man stats. <laughs>
when did it get to collecting these signatures on like the bathroom wall just every look at her Please excuse my voice as I'm recovering from a bit of a cold, but it's all good. We're still pushing and we got to keep pushing because I have another really fun London experience to share with you guys today. I'm on a roll here, am I not? <laughs> but today we're going to be checking out the Thames Rockets, which is known as the best speedboat tour worldwide. So they invited your girl out. I am always down for a thrill. So this is like the perfect London experience for me to try out. And of course, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys for my thrill seekers who might want to try this experience themselves once they get to London or the people who are just going to live vicariously through me because <laughs> they're not into it at all. I'm really, really, really excited. Um, the boat's going to be leaving from London Eye Pier, so I'm going to make sure I head there now so that I'm not late. <laughs> so I actually just decided to change my jacket. It felt a little bit warm when I stepped outside. I don't know what's going on here in London, but... Yeah, hopefully I don't regret it once we get on the water. I hope I don't get cold while we're out there, but it's a risk I'm gonna take. What do we get ourselves into right now? <laughs> but it should be fun. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> She's like, Paige, why did you bring me here? <laughs> Are you ready? No. <laughs> hey guys, we're on the boat. <laughs> I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> Hello. Hi, good. Hi. The enthusiasm's overwhelming. This Woo! is good. Uh, uh, serious bit. Does anyone suffer any serious heart conditions? Not yet. Good. <laughs> anyone suffer any serious back conditions? It's too late, you're on the boat, we're going. Uh, anyone suffer from pregnancy? No? We left 12 minutes late. Uh, so we'll come back 12 minutes late. We'll get the same amount of time, that's a promise. Um, oh, these. They talk about these. Can anyone tell me what these are? Life vests. Life vests. Okay, sensible person in the front row. <laughs> Normally someone says hands, you do well. Uh, these are your life jackets. When you end up in the water today, they will self-inflate. If oh, they do bigger. not self-inflate...
Okay. Uh, no. Can't believe you got in a boat with a stranger. That's a good start. Uh, my name's Bill. Sorry that took so long. Uh, right, let's begin. Ta-da! <laughs> Tower Bridge. Um, I want you to imagine for me you're crossing the bridge, you get to the middle and this happens. Oh. Normal, I assume we'd all slide back. In 1952, a man named Albert Gunton was crossing the bridge, he got to the middle, it started to open, he did not slide back. He jumped. He jumped a six foot gap and landed safely. And the amazing thing about Albert Gunton, he was driving a double decker bus at the time. He got a medal for bravery and a five pound bonus. If that doesn't sum up London, I don't know what does. <laughs> Uh, and you've got a building, really sharp point, looks like a shard. That's called the shard. The shard, sorry, I love, I'm going to do all this in one go. Uh, over there, see the one with the sharp point, looks like a scalpel. That's called the scalpel. Behind it, see the one with the curved top, looks like a gherkin. That's called the gherkin. To the left of it, see the one curves out, looks like a walkie-talkie. That's the walkie-talkie, or the talkie-walkie to the French, there we go. Um, I don't call it the walkie-talkie. When it first opened, the sun bouncing off windows melted cars. Burnt down the welcome mat of a florist shop. So in honour of my favourite newspaper headline ever, that's the walkie scorchy. I think that's brilliant. Uh, back to the Shard. The Shard's amazing. She's made of 95% recycled material. That's because the whole idea of that building is to merge with nature. Even the shape is so you shouldn't be able to tell where the shard stops and where the sky begins. Uh, what am I doing next? Uh, oh, over here, uh, you've got a massive green glass building behind the trees. You expect James Bond to come shooting out of it on a speedboat. That's a train station. That's Charing Cross train station. It's designed by the same man that designed MI6. That's why they look similar. If you look, when we get between the trees, you'll see it's designed to look like a train coming out of a tunnel. It's really cool. Uh, also, if ever you see a signpost pointing to London, that's one of the locations it can be pointing, because that's where all the important trades between the City of London and the City of Westminster used to happen between the guilds. Let's do a bit of audience interaction. Let's do this. Give me a wave if you've been on the London Eye. We'll go for that. Okay. Give me a wave if you've not been on the London Eye. Oh, okay. Nicely done. Be braver than me. I don't like heights. Speedboats, yes. Roller coasters I can do. Heights, no. I went once, they sent a member of staff with me. But all I can think, that is a temporary structure. It only had planning permission for five years. It's been there 21. And recently it was bought by Lego. If you count the pots, there are 32 pots. Uh, that's one pot for every London borough. 32 boroughs, 32 pots. But you can get on pot number 33. That's because they didn't want to put a pot 13 on because it might tempt bad luck. Okay, y'all. Yeah. I don't know how this <laughs> this clip is gonna go, but <laughs> we're still a bit frazzled from the ride. That was so much fun. <laughs> I don't know what I really expected. Like, it was starting to go fast, and we were like, this, this is it? Like, this is not so bad. Then, <laughs> then it really started going on. They were making turns, and we were twisting and stuff. I was not prepared. <laughs> And I'm still trying to get myself together, but highly recommend this experience if you're into thrills. It's equivalent to like riding a roller coaster. <laughs> a water roller coaster. But it was so much fun. Okay, talk to you guys later. That's all I can get you. That's all I can get out right now. <laughs>